I'm so <laughs> there are explanations for that. I mean, I'm just saying when you're singing a ballad, even with Jason, I would say, like we'd be on an award show, like singing a song. I'm like, can you pretend you wanna whoop? Like, can you just, like, can you pretend to look at me and be like, yes, like, but you know. <laughs> I get dead face. I get like, no one wants to date that. Yeah. Anyway, but, but no, I, I literally, I did say that, but I said it because every time we did it, I was like, does he like the song or did he want to sing with me? Like, I was like, but, um, but anyway, it was, that's all the truth. I'm not going to coach like that. Um, sexual harassment is wrong. Um, <laughs> um, <laughs> I'm, I'm going to be honest with you, I have been like legit terrified. I haven't eaten a thing. I might pass out. Like I don't like giving speeches. When they actually told me about this, I said no <laughs> because I knew the speech. I said yes until they said speech and I went, oh, what's so sad, but no. Um, and then I thought I can rise above this and maybe I might not. I might pass out, but he'll laugh. It'll be funny. Um, <laughs> But uh, he made me just feel more comfortable. Thank you, Blake. I love you. Because um, I was very, very nervous, but now I feel a little more relaxed now that you really know who I am. <laughs> Yay. <laughs> um, thank you for not telling the New Year's Eve story. <laughs> it really wasn't as bad as it sounds. It was more funny. And we found out how much of a little boy Adam is when he gets in trouble. <laughs> That's okay though. Um, it really was. It was funny. I was like, "What is happening?" You're like in a corner crying about it. Um, but like, we're gonna be fine. We actually weren't gonna get arrested. We were very responsible adults with a designated driver. But um, we had probably had too much. Um, I'm gonna get to the point, which is totally not alcohol. <laughs> Like, um, I, I am excited though because I, I watch, I'm very, I just saw her out of my peripheral vision. I can't, like she's Wonder Woman, I can't. <laughs> can't, I'm so nervous. I just got sidetracked because I feel like that's what we were meant to look like and it just, I don't know. <laughs> I literally went to the movie. I, I had totally stage five clingered Patty like earlier because I was like, I love this movie. I don't know what James Cameron's talking about. Like it's the most amazing thing ever. And especially for women that are moms, like, I mean, the story of Belle the Beast, it's a little scary. She was in a dungeon trapped and then they fell in love. Like it's like, you know, like, or Aurora, she just like slept it out. Like she didn't do a damn thing, like, you know. And those are like her favorite ones. And I'm like, oh, but she loves Wonder Woman. She's three, I probably shouldn't show it to her. I know I'm being judged. I don't care. All the grown up stuff goes over her head. So, um, but it's nice. It is nice to have like this, you know, bold, you know, female figure for your girls. Cause like once she saw the little girl in Wonder Woman, like, you know, learning how to fight and like defend herself and all that, like she loved it. She started acting it out and I couldn't have been more proud because you're a little proud cause you're like, oh, you're cute in the bell dress, but you're more proud when she's like, <laughs> like <laughs> in the corner. Yeah, you're more proud. <laughs> Yeah, so thank you. And you're like, I mean, I'm just gonna say this. I mean, she's like not only like, <laughs> gal, she's not only like one of the most beautiful people, she's also like a really great actress and also like really intelligent. I saw her on Jimmy Fallon and I was like, you know what, screw you. <laughs> Bitch got it all, she got it all. <laughs> we have to work so hard. She just naturally, innately awesome at everything. Like. She's just so funny. I was like, oh, but uh, I do. I love you. I'm such a, I can't even believe I'm looking at you. We've been talking about you at our table. Like you got up to like, I don't know, pee or something. And I was like, well, I was <laughs> like so different. <laughs> it's like, I'm so nervous. I'm shaking. Um, I haven't even talked about anything I'm supposed to talk about. So <laughs> we've covered alcohol, my little girl learning to fight, <laughs> super Texan right now. Um, but I'm a Democrat, just if you were wondering. Um, uh, but anyway, so thank you so much. I really, 
I really am like so excited to get this award because not only like it was an amazing thing when they called and and it wasn't just about us, you know, it wasn't so egocentric. It was about us standing up here and having a platform for organizations that don't have that. They don't have the spotlight that we get by being in the, in, in the spotlight. So it, it was very cool to, that's the only reason why I said yes to the speech. Because um, I thought it was an important thing and I and, and it's my duty almost to, to do that. So thank you so much. I, I, I literally was floored. I think I even tweeted about it because I was like, did they just run out of people? Was I like the last one? Because <laughs> like, how am I in the same group as these women? <laughs> like, and um, I live a very quiet life in Tennessee. And so it's not every day that you follow Priyanka or Michelle Fire. <laughs> You're like, okay, it's not normal. Um, but, <laughs> but I was very excited though to be amongst them. And I recently met, um, actually Octavia said a, a Today Show, I think it was we were at, and she was so lovely. And it's and I will say this, it's such a nice thing when you meet your heroes, um, especially women, because I feel like women are always pitted as bitches or, you know, I heard them say it in the show, if, if, you're, if you're strong or you're powerful or you, you have a lot of confidence, which I do and I'm unapologetic for, but, but it's... <laughs> yes, enter stank face. It's my stank face. You're going to see that on The Voice right after I kick your ass. <laughs> <It's> like, <laughs> I'm just saying this because I have the mic and you don't. <laughs> He'd have some kind of witty comeback. Um, but no, it is a, it's a blessing to be honored with all these women. And I found it interesting. Um, I might have just tangent queened it, but whatever. Um, I, didn't, I didn't use a teleprompter because every time I use it, I go dyslexic. I get really nervous. And so I have my really, like, I mean, it's like I've done this and like, I'm so nervous about it, um, but I have my points. <laughs> but um, I did find it interesting, regardless of this paper. Um, you know, Michelle was up here talking about EWG, right? I got that right, right? EWG. I'm nervous, so I'm pretty sure I got the initials right. Um, and um, even Priyanka up here talking about, um, you know, educating these girls and 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 just focusing on these little kids because. It, it's very interesting that the thing that I'm talking about today and that I love and that I recently found and I worked with XQ Super Schools for this event um, where they went across four different networks on television and really it wasn't asking you for money, it wasn't asking you for anything other than investing, like investing in your children, investing in those around you to make a better world. And I know it sounds like a cheesy sentiment, but it's a really hard time to have kids. We have four children ranging from one to 16 and, and it's a really, you know, difficult time when they, you're sitting at lunch and like your 16 year old who, oh, I'm with you, Judd, like all they live, hey, like all it is is Instagram time. But it's a really interesting thing when you're sitting at, at lunch or dinner and all of a sudden they bring up like, wait, what did this mean when he said this? Or what did this mean when she said this? And you're like, uh, and you get really sweaty because you don't even want to, you feel like all you're doing is explain, explaining away every day. You know, you're explaining away everything negative or everything hateful or everything, it just becomes this very dark thing. So it's very important, I thought it was, it was pretty cool, that XQ Super Schools is all about education. So not just education in the sense of like science or math or the, you know, the core subjects obviously that we all took and loved um, <laughs> and um, sucked at science. Um, <laughs> but um, it's, it's really about education at the end of the day. It's educating yourself for the environment. Not just because, you know, I, I think a lot of people write people off in Hollywood or even, you know, they call them tree huggers and they say, oh, the environment. And it's like, it's not a fad. It's like, it's your life, it's your health. And especially when you're a parent, I agree with Michelle, you, you go crazy trying to figure out all these things like, wait, what, what am I doing? Am I, am I going to kill my child with, like, unknowingly? Like, am I going to, you know, you look up all these products. That's why Jessica Alba, I know, started um, The Honest Company. You know, a lot of women, we start, we become mothers, and, it, and it's not focused on yourself. You're focused on this individual that you're supposed to help mold to prepare for the world. And, and, um, and it's, it's a big task. It's a heavy task, and it's nerve-wracking. And, and I think, literally, no matter who gets up here today and what they talk about, it really does boil down to education. It boils down, and my mother was a phenomenal teacher. I mean, she got paid jack, and most teachers do where I'm from, but she came every day early and left late and helped kids catch up with the other kids because there's 26 to 30 kids in each class. And all those kids learn differently. All those kids need to be engaged um, differently. They're captivated by different things. And so she worked her ass off, honestly, like to really help out and, and engage these kids, not only just in the school time, but even afterwards, like they'd find out like somebody didn't have 
clothes, like somebody didn't have enough food, like, and they'd, you know, the teachers would, they were these amazing teachers that got together and really made a, a giant impact on these kids' lives. And, and if we all focused on being an impact in just one little kid's life, like, imagine the adults we would, that would come to fruition. Like, imagine the society we would live in, you know? And, and, um, and it's really what, what turned me on was because of, for ex, <laughs> that's a weird statement. When, <laughs> sorry, <laughs> I always go there, even though I'm on a four. <laughs> um, <laughs> um, the fire's never dead. Uh, <laughs> but uh, but what, what I found important is um, with XQ Super School, they, they focused and they did this, I think it was like 10 schools they chose. If I'm off on the number, I'm sorry, but I think it was 10 they chose at first to start and kind of be these like guinea pig schools to like, to see what would it, what would it make an impact us going in and instead of like I know in Houston, Texas They had this school right next to just this barren land and it looked like a wasteland and they took the kids and they made Gardens they made they taught these kids not only had a garden, but just they became these Something else that you normally don't do in school I never did anything like that in school and then what turns that into is something like Michelle was talking about you learn about your environment. You learn about the soil you're using. You learn about what we do to that soil. You're, you know, you're learning so many things outside of just math, science, English, whatever. And those are all very important things. I just think we have a very archaic system right now. And, and you know, honestly, my mother, you know, worked her tail off and and I'm here really for her like carrying the torch that she's been carrying for years and all these other teachers that are made to fit these guidelines just for testing and it really doesn't make sense because I don't remember shit from that like I don't I don't remember anything from chemistry not that my teacher did a bad job but what she was supposed to teach me with did not impact me and it's not her fault necessarily it's the fact that the system is broken and if we took kids and took them outside and showed them how to garden or showed them you know how to be respectful with animals like you know there's a, there's all these other things these psychological elements that come into play when you think outside the box and maybe they won't be a gardener when they grow up but they're going to know, like, all those discipline actions, like, the, the obedience of that, the watching something. If you have grown a garden, which my husband and I have, um, one year, because we're busy, but, <laughs> but, um, but we did it one year, and it was the most fruitful thing to, like, cook with your vegetables that you grew with organic stuff. It was. We looked it up. I didn't look it up in EWG, but I hope it was good. I got very nervous, and she said, I was like, what? <laughs> I was like, it's not? They just lie? People are liars. <laughs> like, it's weird, but um, but anyway, it was just a such a, a fulfilling thing, and it, and even our kids like growing flowers or doing anything. It gives them such a um, school isn't just about just the core curriculum. It's about social environment and setting them up for the future, setting them up to be able to you know not you know I find a lot of kids sometimes are socially inept because they just stuck to the basics in their books and and those are very important but at the same time it's very important to think outside the box and I feel that XQ Super Schools has been doing a fabulous job they they just um, began in 2015 and even even just two years later you see the difference that it's made in these schools that are like kind of the quote unquote, they probably don't want me to say the word guinea pig I just don't know another word because I'm nervous um, <laughs> Have I been breathing? I don't know. <laughs> but I literally feel the Whitney Houston sweat, like all of it. It's, I'm going to have to like peel the Spanx off. It's fine. Um, <laughs> but, uh, but anyway, so I just, I, I found it really telling that no matter who's going to get up here, even from Priyanka and, and Michelle, like the core, the, the core thing is teaching not only yourself to take care of children, but teaching your children to take care of themselves teaching your children to know better, to know the difference between being hateful, to know the difference between being kind, to know the difference you know, between being egocentric and to knowing the difference in looking outside of yourself and helping someone who maybe can't help themselves in a certain situation. Um, and that all applies to all this innovation and progressiveness that XQ Super Schools is offering up. Um, and I love that they're not asking for money, they're giving you money. They're giving these schools grants, they're giving these, these people opportunity, um, especially this school in Houston, they had like a, I can't remember the percentage, but it was like the lowest percentage of graduates. And, it, and, it, and that's very telling of, of the community and like and what's going on there. And if we're, we're ignoring, you know, we're, those are kids. They don't have a choice at that point. It's our job. That's our job to help them. They're children. And so it's, it's just one of those things. I'm sorry. But, um, 
I just was really touched by XQ Super Schools, and um, I do, I implore that you all look into it, especially if you, even if you don't have children, it's like, you know, um, he made that joke earlier about, um, well, I have daughters, but I'd still, if I didn't have daughters, it'd still be fucking gross, <laughs> like, you know, and that's, that's the same thing, even if you don't have kids, we're all affected, just so you know, if you don't have children, well, you go to the mall, you go to eat at restaurants, you go to, these people in, impact your life indirectly, like, so, it's not that, it's not some direct impact to you, every one of us impacts somebody, you know, there's that whole separation, how many other people, I can't remember, I feel like George Bush with the, fool me once, what, but I can't remember, but, um, <laughs> Fool me four times, I don't know. <laughs> Are you taping this? I hate you. <laughs> My friend's taping this. Oh, I know she's gonna run out of, oh, how long have I been talking? Oh, I'm so sorry, I get so nervous, I keep talking, I've probably been talking forever, I didn't even look at my notes, but I really do, I, I think that y'all should look into XQ Super Schools, even if you don't have children, it's such an important thing for our society, especially in such a time that is so divisive and so um, scary to, to have kids. So that's it, I'm sorry, thank you. <laughs>